This is Combat versus Gur. I was excited, dude. When I saw Combat in top four winner side, Combat is so good. I love watching his Johnny. Johnny is, a, for me anyway, Johnny is such a fun character to watch. He's just like a really solid mid-range character, and he has to play like a very simple, like when he hits you, he he plays restand into like, what's the guess going to be? Back 3-4. One thing about Johnny is that he's really, really good at um, getting you to sit still in the mid-range because of his forward 3 and his back 3. Those two things both are so good. Man, he got hit on wake up like four times in a row, and I got to thank my lovely subscriber for subscribing three months in a row. Thanks very much, Appel the Fish. Boom! Break his fucking back. Early on, he tried to block low on the 1-1. So in this range right here, Johnny has a lot of really good options. His forward 3 is a high, but it advances really far. His back 3 is a low, and it goes super, super, super far. So it's a low starter. Both of them lead to nut punch into like 25%. Damn. 1-2-1. One, one. Glow kick. Back 3-4. Nice. Yeah, if he didn't have breakaway, that was the kill. Yeah, I think that was a throw attack. So he does the dash cancel off the fatal blow. Back 3-4, dash cancel into... This is 4-3 or 3-4. I don't remember which. But this shit is hard. I think it's 4-3. This shit is hard. This is a hard link. 3-4? Okay. That shit is hard. And then, yeah, I think that was a tech. That string had too many highs in it. And I think he tried to tech a front throw. That shit is hard, dude. The thing about, uh, yeah, I think that tried to catch him, maybe hitting a button or attacking a throw. Back 3-4 connects. I think he didn't expect it. That's why he canceled into the straight fireball. Yeah, the later wake up. I love the 1-1 series because it's it's so good because both options side switch. Nice whiff punish. If he does 1-1 one, one low, that side switches. And if he does 1-1-1-3, one, one, one plus 1-1-1-1-3, one, 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 one plus three, it side switches too. How impactful is the high whiffing on crouching block Johnny? It, it's pretty big. Well, the thing is, is like, so any character that's big that has to deal with the straight fireball from Johnny, that also sucks for them. But then you also have stuff where you can just, damn, he went down one nut punch. He was really trying to close out the round, hoping that he would just get hit. Both of those are big. Dude, did you see the spacing on that anterior air? Damn, that was tight. Punish. That was beautiful. Walk back, punish the landing frames with back 3-4, fatal blow. And the thing is, you can dash cancel that if it doesn't hit. Yeah, Johnny goes under 4, 2-1-2, two, two, yeah. And not only that, but he can fight the mid-range really well against Garrus. And he has glow kick for punishes on mid-range uh, sand trap. And Garrus is big, so, you know, life life is not uh, great when you have to block against Johnny. 4-3-4-4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. This is pretty solid damage. In the corner, Johnny's damage is good. Wow, he jumped himself in the corner. I wonder if he was trying to beat that wake-up attack. Yeah, Johnny is... He's really solid in this range. See? And, and like, the thing is that Garrus is good in that range, too. But he can't commit to, like, a ton of forward 2-1-2. Two two. He can't just, like, dash up and try what he wants against a character like Johnny. He controls the ground so well. Damn, that was crazy. Man, I wish he would have punished that. But he's in a pretty good position. Yeah, dash up, down one. A lot of dash, down four, and down one to go into the high fireballs of Johnny. That's a good choice. What up, 2EZMK? Nice. Wow, no cancel? He did glow kick. He killed him. Oh, no. Oh, that's a whiff punish. Yeah, that was a good roll. You know, that's the second time I think he's done forward roll on wake up, actually, in this set already. Shane gonna be able to rock in my e-league event you know what's funny is he comes out after but if he was legal absolutely i would say play him in the tournament i'd be like hell yeah if he came out like the day before the day of i'd be like he's legal we're calling shadow kick glow kick it's the same shit yeah, down one nut punch just to beat him uh, low poking after. That string is really good from Johnny, by the way. 2-4-4. Four, four. That's a really solid string. Green kick, glow kick, shadow kick, whatever you want to call it. Goo kick. When's the event? It's this Sunday. Back 3-4. He has a hit confirmable, two hitting low string. It's so good. Am I sick? No, I always sound like this. 
<laughs> I sound like this no matter what every day of the week. Guiji, oh my god. Guiji was almost the Dragon Ball Fighters champion. Did you guys know that? Wow, one two one miss. That was weird. Yeah, front throw. No, back throw. Wow, no punish on the roll either. You know, that's a good read from Gur. I think that there's been a lot of walk back from combat to go for like, you know, forward three, uh, sorry, back three, four, or forward three, four, four. And like, if you know that, neutral jumping is a great choice against it. Because you know, like, he's going to lead with these big mid attacks. So, you know, why not just neutral jump them or horizontal moving like high or mid attacks? So you just, yeah, you just move back, whiff punish them. Nice. Caught him trying to throw attack there, I think. Forward three, four, four. Nice. That was a great. Um, I think he was probably staggering the forward three anyway, but that was a really good hit confirm. Yeah, you gotta you gotta break away from that. I think you're gonna take too much damage. Knockdown one two four. That has plus frames, but it's a high. Four three two. No whiff punish. Damn, down two. He was walking up on him. I don't know what he was trying. Nice. So if that connects, you can cancel only on the last hit of 4344 4, 4 from Johnny. So, like, you have to get it so that it hits clean. Nice, down one. This is one thing that's pretty important when you're fighting against Johnny in general is I like this down one that he's just sticking out here. Because if he does 4-3 there, it goes under it because 4-3 is a high. And then he interrupts the back 3-4 also. Tekken needs me. Street Fighter needs me. These games don't need me. Damn, he just woke up. You know what's funny is like combat has been waking up with uh, a lot of rolls and a lot of wake up attacks. So you can tell that twice here, Gur is trying to bait it. And then he does break away. And then Gur wakes up with the neutral jump. And notice how he's doing walk back, back three, four. We see that a lot. Walks back, tries it again. Boom, boom. 4-3 stagger again. 4-3 stagger is fantastic. It is, I think, like one a very underrated stagger because you're expecting the whole series after. And it's a high, which, you know, that's not the best. But, you know, it's really, really good, I think. You know, the thing is, Latch On, is that this duo of David and Aquaman is not really... It's not really built to be like a very analytical duo. That's not like the nature of these two. You know what I'm saying? David used to be an analytical commentator, but he's not anymore. And Aquaman is like, he knows a decent amount about the game, but he's like a hype man, usually. You know, that's usually the role he fills. I think Aquaman is getting better. He, he knows what's going Like the thing about him is he knows the game well, and he has good knowledge thing that he struggles on is delivering it i think because like if you think about aquaman he's like a really really good he's like a ball of energy he's like super excitable he's always like um got a ton of like energy he's excited he's like yeah this is gonna be sick oh my god he's got the crazy he's like got this like you know super fun uh loud sound to him right but then when he has to switch from that to explaining something like oh yeah well this is why this whiffed in this situation i feel like the energy is still there so he doesn't have the ability to cleanly like deliver what he wants to say but that's something he'll figure out and once he does like he'll be crushing it you know what i'm saying this is uh something that garris players do a lot after front throw or back forward two they jump and because of that the splash if it gets down two is high enough that you can combo with down one The Condiment Brothers are great. They have great energy, and they know the game very well. So that's something that's important. Yeah, and he was really trying to bait out a bigger whiff than the down one. Nice break. Damn, that was like the latest I feel like I've seen a throw break on a back throw, too. You figured that that was going to be a back throw because of the corner. But Garrus is like, I think he, he doesn't really care. He can throw you forward or back and not worry too much. 1-1-1, one, 1-plus-3. One, one, one That's not that great. 1-1-1, one, 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 back forward 2 would be better, but, you know, you'll take what you can get. Noise. Gotta watch Fatal Blow cancel from Johnny. Yeah, 50-50. 
He he's I seen feel like in the beginning and now he's committed to blocking the low both times, hoping for the big punish, you know? I and I understand the sentiment, right? You're like, okay, I want him to go for the one that's unsafe because I can punish it and like maybe he's gonna go for it in this situation. When you're cornered by Johnny, by the way, it feels so fucking bad. If you're a big character and you have to block the fireball, that shit sucks. Damn, down one, down one, down one. He committed a four, two, and two twice? Damn. <gasps> Damn. He didn't wake up up two. Johnny's wake up up two goes pretty far horizontally, actually. Down one nut punch to catch them counter poking. We've seen that a lot. To be fair, like, if there's going to be a character you commit to it against, I feel like Garrus is a good choice because you know he's going to do forward 4-4 four, four after. Or, uh, forward 4-4. Four, four, down one after. Why combat never finishes combo with restand? I mean, the thing is that the restand is not super plus with Johnny. Wow, he did back to two. It's, it's not super plus. So, in a lot of situations, I think he'd rather just have the knockdown, especially against Garrus, who has a six frame down one. It's not like he's like plus 15, like MKX or some something, right? Where you're just like, oh yeah, remember when Cassie Cage got like a jump in after her nut punch because she was so plus? Like it's plus, but it's not so plus that either your opponent can do anything after. Yeah, Fatal Blow Dash Cancel, you might as well use it because it's going to come back and you need it in this round. The Dash Cancel does a shit ton of damage, damn. Smoked by the 1-1-1. One, one, one. I think he unblocked. Yeah, a jump in is a lot different than being able to check with a down one or try like walk back back three four or like try to throw. Throwing when you're plus four against like a six frame down one character is, is scary. Yeah, a lot of front rolls from combat. We've seen that quite a bit actually. One one low. He was standing the whole time, so I think that's pretty safe. Damn, wake up four three four four. That's the thing is like. Combat is doing a good job of recognizing, like, oh, yeah, he wants to bait my wake-up attacks, so I'm just going to go for forward three. I'm just going to go ahead and thank Snow Eskimo Joe for dropping the tier one. Thanks, homie. Yeah, too many front rolls. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. That was a good read. Now I feel like you start back rolling. Latchon says, yeah, I hate that uh, a down four is often better than getting a knockdown with back four. Yeah, dude. I mean, in NRS games, it's almost always, well, I guess in MK, it's a little, or MKX, maybe it's a little different. But in this game, like, you know, there's so many defensive options that you have. You might as well just keep them standing with the plus frames. It's really good. As good as Snow Eskimo Joe dropping five gifted subs. Thanks very much. Jesus Christ. You're going to see a lot of head bobbing. Hey, thanks, man. That's very kind of you. Yeah, the thing about landing a down four, by the way, I really like this. Forward roll again, down one, reversal back throw to beat the poke after. This is like oftentimes one of your best options because Garrus is down one is fast. Poking after is not always easy to do, especially online. So reversal throw is often a good idea. Down fours in general are very, very plus. They tend to be like plus 14 to 18 or so, which means, you know, you get to just do whatever the fuck you want after dash into like whatever button you want. Same stagger we saw earlier with the 4-3. Very good stagger. Yeah, I mean, that happens. Nice combo. That happens a lot in this, in a matchup against Johnny. You try to unblock against, like, and poke against 1-2 something or whatever. Down 2. I wonder if he was throw attacking or if he knew that he was going to jump. I would guess throw attack. Dude, his wake up 4-3-4-4 four, four, four is gangster. It keeps hitting. Or at least being blocked. Yeah, three, four, three. Man, he's getting swallowed up. Down one. And after a down one trade, I mean, against Garrus, like, yeah, you just have to block. You're not going to down one back. No. Yeah, that was going to be way too much damage. Damn, what a neutral jump. And what a confirm after. Yeah, you're smoked. There's not much you can do here. Chip out is a big problem. Oh, shit. There's no defensive meter. Wow, he ended it. Yeah, that was good. Forward two one by itself is like my is very negative actually. It's like minus twelve or something. So in that situation, you know, forward two one. He wanted to stagger. He didn't want to finish the string because he was gonna get chipped out. 
Either way, that was a good check. Down one flip. 